Hey guys, Josh feels really dumb. Wanna know why? Because he actually rage quitted this game the other day when after beating, like in the last recording you saw, when I beat Emperor Ing, that was an old recording in which I beat Emperor Ing and uh, and afterwards I died. Yeah, I died after beating Emperor Ing. And the thing that really sucks about that is that I turned off my game thinking that I would have to face Emperor Ing and Dark Samus again. And no, no you don't. If you just click save from your last, like no, if you click continue from your last save point, then you don't have to. You just start at the end of the Emperor Ing battle. I'm just stupid and didn't know that. So I turned off my console anyways and in the end it got me absolutely nowhere and I had to fight Emperor Ing again. So I've actually tried against Dark Samus multiple times and I just I guess I really suck at it because I keep dying but we come back down to Dark Aether and we see that our surroundings are filled with Phazon. And I'm pretty sure that Phazon behind Samus has been there for a while, but the Phazon right there has not. And who could the culprit be in causing that to happen? None other than our favorite Dark Samus. Everybody give her a round of applause. Okay, actually I can't even call it a her, it's more of an it. And its suit has become transparent from all the Phazon it's, um injected like heroin no I'm just kidding that it's absorbed though yeah so I've seen up on the internet that this boss battle is pretty easy but I keep dying so apparently it's not um I mean if you had a lot of energy oh god oh god this would be such an easy game actually it's, well I, I was about to say this would be an easy boss and then correct myself and say this would be a really easy game with a lot of energy like it's weird it's weird that the amount of energy tanks determines whether or not this game is a fucking nightmare or it's a breeze and the game wants me to go get the space jump boots hello game my name is Josh and I have to say that I'm at the end of the game actually I couldn't be closer to the end of the game and you want me to just be like Dark Samus BRB gotta go get my uh, space jump boots I can't just, I can't do that. I don't think Dark Samus will understand. It's not a very understanding creature. It's trying to kill me for Christ's sake. Okay, so... Of course, like with just about everything else in this game, super missiles are probably the most effective thing. And now we move on to phase two of the battle, which is pretty much the rest of the battle. Um, Dark Samus surrounds herself in that shield of Phazon. And then, uh, holy shit, that did a lot of damage. And then you have to wait until it does that attack, like, you know, that I just did, where you absorb the phase on into your own beam and then fire it back at it. The thing that makes no sense to me is if Dark Samus is currently being powered by all this phase on, why does phase on that I fire at it? Heard it. I just I don't I don't see it. I don't see the logic. But you know whatever. Bring it on, Dark Samus. I'm not taking your shit. Mm -mm. I'm too close to the end of this game. So go ahead, keep giving me ammunition. I don't care. I'm Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa just needs ammunition with his fist. That was was terrible. That was a terrible rocky impression. That's okay though, because I guarantee you that I do other things kind of well. I'm so happy that this game is almost over with. I am just, I'm so tired of this let's play being here and not being finished. So I apologize for my commentary being a bit dry. I just, uh, I just don't know what to say. I'm, I'm a loss for words because uh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful to see the end of this game unfold before my very eyes. Yeah, that's right, Dark Samus. Take that. And then you go right back to doing that. You know, I find with this game 
that the bosses all gave me a pretty f good run for my money and uh, you know they offered a lot of challenge and they had a lot of diversity in their attacks when it, but when it comes to the last boss of the game you know this is I mean here's my question this, this is it this is it really like just think about it for a second this is the final boss in the entire game and all it is for the most part is just repeatedly going into a shield and launching shit at me that's almost about it like look just going straight back to it this is the rest of the battle and come to think of it Nintendo Emperor Ing's battle was kinda like that too after a while into the battle he pretty much only did the charging move I mean there was a little bit more variation in that than this but still like what the fuck for your last battle you would think that they would put in a little bit more effort but whatever it's no time to rant or complain it's a time to enjoy the fact that this game's almost over my nightmare's almost over and I will conquer I will conquer Dark Samus until the time comes when the game is over come on I either want you to get back on the ground or give me some ammunition. Come on. Yeah. So, grr. Just grr. Die, potato. Okay, so two minutes and 17 seconds left. And Dark Samus is almost dead. And I'm in pretty good standing with energy. As long as I don't let the projectile she's firing hit me, because they're actually quite deadly. Very lethal indeed. They take a lot of health away. And I'm not going to demonstrate that. Alright, come on. Just a few more hits. Oh, you seen who back that? Okay. Oh my god, look at her health! I'm so excited. So excited. This will be the final hit! Walking over to give me a hug, say good game, give me a handshake. You know, in an incredibly strange way, that was kind of sad. Oh shit. Well guys, looks like that's the end of the game. Samus dies. Oh. We're not. And so the planet of Aether was saved. The people carried on with their lives. And Samus became a hero.
Oh, back in your original suit. Cool. Peace out, motherfuckers. That's what Samus is saying. She was, she was just walking down the line like, I'm a fucking celebrity now, bitch. Oh, yes, Samus. Hurry off of that dreadful planet. Well, folks, well, folks, that was Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, the Let's Play by Franklin Thorpe Gamer. And needless to say, no. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not gonna touch this game again. Uh uh, this is going on the shelf to collect dust. Because. That was a dreadful nightmare of an LP. That was way too difficult. And, uh... Well, I don't know. I just hope I don't have to see anything like that again. That was, it was hard. Like, I know going into it, I was like, I think I can handle it. Hard mode, no extra energy tanks. Pfft, sign me up. Easy. No. It's not easy. Not easy. Opposite of easy very hard but I did have fun strangely enough because I always like a good challenge just not when it takes me a year to get through it but at the same rate I did have a long disappearance so I don't know it's just, there was somebody who worked on this named Alejandro Alejandro they worked on the art okay and uh, Tiga Schultz, and Nick Tarahan, and Derek Bun Bonikowski, Bonikowski, okay, I like names, <laughs> so, it's just been such a long time guys, I've been at it for so long, and I feel like a heavy weight has been lifted off my shoulders, it just, this game, this game was just too hard but like I said I enjoyed it I enjoyed that you guys enjoyed it I'm happy you guys did I'm really happy that you guys liked this let's play that makes me incredibly happy and incredibly moist and I just want to say thanks for watching first of all and second of all that I really really love you guys because you guys are like the greatest thing ever having any sort of viewer base is just wonderful um, no matter the size and no matter the people in it having people watching your videos just a really good feeling especially when people find you entertaining and just it's nice how long do these credits go on can I skip them can I can I, can I skip them no no I can't can't skip the credits. Can't do flips in the night academy. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I can talk until then. I can talk until the sun goes down. Um. But about what? Will I do Metroid Prime 3? Probably, probably not. Well, I might eventually, but I'm definitely not doing any sort of challenge run. That'll be like the only Metroid Prime run that's normal. Eventually, I'll probably do Metroid Prime 3, and it'll it'll be like, all right, Metroid Prime 1, we seek we sequence broke the game, we got shit early, we didn't collect everything, we skipped the um, I think we skipped the thermal visor in uh in Metroid Prime 1, and uh, then with this, oh well, we uh, we sequence broke again, and we um, you know, we skipped having any extra energy tanks. 
And then Metroid Prime 3. Yeah, we're just gonna play the game the game normally. I don't know. Um I've only played through Metroid Prime 3 once. It was pretty fun though, if I remember correctly. So that's always good. Oh, end of the credits. Mission final, percentage complete, 35%. Yeah! Woo, it looks like Josh's report card. No, I'm just kidding. Holy shit, we beat the game in 6 hours and 43 minutes. We alert, we unlocked a storyboard gallery. Well, guys, that's me signing out for the last time on this mission. See ya.